When you're flossing your teeth, are you pushing bacteria down into your gums? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about flossing and whether or not you might be pushing the gunk back down into your gums. And before we get started, make sure to get my free oral care guide. Click the link in the description below or in the pinned comment to join thousands who have already discovered all of the essential components for an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. I made it just for you, for it can also help you stay on routine and never miss a night of flossing. And having said that, for today's video, let's Let's answer the question, is flossing causing you to push bacteria down into your gums? And the answer is no! Floss is not doing that. When you floss, you are not pushing the bacteria down into your gums. It's actually the complete opposite. You're not pushing anything down, but what you're doing is actually disrupting the biofilm and scraping it loose from your tooth, thus lowering your chances of cavities and gum disease. Whereas if you're not flossing, then you're not removing the plaque. You're not disrupting that biofilm, and then the bacteria will make its way down into the gums. Not flossing causes bacteria to multiply and spread between your teeth, because when you're not flossing, the plaque biofilm layer is not being disrupted. So flossing is not dangerous, even though I've definitely had comments spamming my videos saying this so wild. People really say flossing is dangerous in the comments and I'm always like, wait, what? I would have never even thought that would be a thing. That would even be a question. But according to my YouTube comments, everyone is asking about this. And I think this myth about flossing pushing bacteria under your gums started maybe because everyone was trying to find a reason to not floss. Maybe? I don't know. Any other thoughts on why this started? Let me know in the comments below. But for the purpose of this video, let me say it once more. Flossing is not pushing plaque down into your gums. What flossing is is doing is disrupting the plaque biofilm between your teeth, thus lowering the chances of it multiplying and spreading to other parts of your teeth, thus preventing cavities and gum disease. And hey, one more thing before we go. If you truly do not like flossing, or you are struggling with properly using traditional string floss, there are other options to clean between your teeth, such as floss picks. The plastic handle sometimes makes it much easier if you have dexterity issues or the string hurts your fingers. Another option is interdental brushes, also known as proxy brushes. They are a great flossing alternative where you literally just push them in and out between your teeth. The only thing with the proxy brushes is that sometimes you need to use multiple sizes and you need to find which size fits between all the different spots of your mouth. Nevertheless, they work great once you find the sizes that work for you. And lastly, there's also the option of a water flosser. I oftentimes recommend you use a water flosser in addition to one of the other methods. So you would say use a floss pick first and then use a water flosser after. The thing about water flossers is that they are great for those with gum issues. So if you have bleeding gums, swollen gums, gingivitis, is highly recommended. But if you are cavity prone, I would definitely focus on one of the other flossing methods since they tend to manually touch that contact point where your two teeth touch. And if you want to also add a water flosser, that's great too. Of course, it's optimal to use both. And I do have a video that goes in depth into all about the different flossing alternatives. So if you want to learn even more about each option and how to use each one with proper technique, I will link all of those videos of mine in the description box below. Personally, I love my string floss and if you love it too, I will link my traditional string flossing tutorial video if you want to confirm that you are in fact using the correct technique with the string. In all, when you're flossing and pushing the floss down into your gum line, no worries, you are not pushing the plaque deeper. It's the opposite. Flossing is good because it disrupts the layer of biofilm, scraping it loose from your tooth and lowering your chances of cavities and gum disease. And if you are interested in creating the perfect routine to prevent major dental issues such as cavities and gum disease and costly dental visits such as deep cleanings, fillings, and crowns to avoid all of that. Make sure to click the link in the description or in the pinned comment below to sign up for my free oral care guide and join thousands who have already discovered all of the essentials of an effective oral hygiene routine. This guide is an action plan for preventing and maintaining a happier and healthier smile. And I hope this video helped you. Please like and subscribe and turn on your notifications if it did. And if you want even more Teeth Talk, you can visit my website, teethtalkgirl.com and hang out with me on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth. Keep the flossing up.